Um, tell me about this this story that Stephen chose to tell. There's so many, you know, we talked about the lobbyists and that, that whole aspect. Um, there's so many themes and, and topics that go on that are really relevant for today. What struck out, struck you most about this very pointed story that uh, Dan, uh, Stephen chose to tell. You know, it's a, it's a really big story, but it's so intimate, too. That's what intrigued me when I saw the film for the first time, is I loved how it so beautifully transitioned from the scope and the size of the time and the events of that time to the smallest most intimate, um, and yet both were always present in one another. You know, you never lost a sense of that human being, Lincoln, within the broader picture, and yet you never lost a sense of that broader picture in the solitary, most intimate moments, private moments of him. Uh, I loved that. I just thought it went from big to small and small to big, just so beautifully. Um, I, I thought that was stunning. And that's, a, you know, due to the great efforts of Stephen and, and Tony Kushner, you know, who just crafted something so beautiful. Um, what did you learn about Lincoln, the man, from doing this film? And what do you think, maybe did you learn anything different when you watched the film than from being a part of it? Do you think audiences do you think they might? Absolutely. I learned, I learned a lot watching it. I don't know whether I learned a lot, but I was just so curious um, to see it, and from moment to moment. And I think, um, I think it's easy to look at Lincoln as somebody who is this granite figure that is carrying effortlessly the weight of the world on his shoulders. Yeah. Um, and I, I just thought it was great to see him, his struggle, and to see him trying to be funny and trying to make sense of his life. For me, it's, it was incredibly exciting and um, I was riveted by watching this man who, to so many of us around the world, um, is such, such a frame of reference for us, um, and yet not a memory, um, and is sort of granite in his ability to carry the weight of the world at that time, his world. Um, to be able to see through that um, and to see his world and to see his struggle with that um, and to see him trying to be funny and to see him um, argue with his wife and to see the grief that he was carrying around um, and yet this enormous feeling of responsibility uh, I think Daniel's performance in this film is um, just beautiful, I think. And for me, uh, it defined um, the best that I could imagine uh, of that time. Uh, because it allowed some of the worst, you know, it allowed for that. Uh, it allowed for weakness, and it allowed for frailty, um, and it allowed for um, 
indecision and and when you allow for that then a decisiveness and a conviction mm -hmm. is all the more um, hard fought for uh, it's in a way you're seeing something almost unimaginable and yet you're seeing it in presented in such a humane and um, compassionate and sensitive and intimate way uh, which Steven Spielberg just put together so delicately and so perfectly as far as I'm concerned.